Judy Tinder to the love goddess and princess of Panty Shields. I can absorb you. Oh, welcome to the Queer Edge. It's so great to be here. Do you know this show is so popular? There was this guy out in front. He grabs me. He's like, Judy, when you get on the Queer Edge, please mention my name. Please say hello to me. Please. You know, like I'm going to bring this show to a screeching halt to say, hi, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Excuse me, governor. Okay. Excuse me. Keep the money in the schools. And, I, and he had his wife with him, Maria Shriver. You know, she looks like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> oh, how do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you give her food and keep it down? <laughs> Excuse me. She needs a cheeseburger. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I, speaking of, we love being here in Hollywood. Okay. I have to do my tribute to every woman uh, in Beverly Hills. Ah. Uh, I, I can't close my mouth. I can only say vowels. Oh, oh. I'm going through the G-force. Oh. oh, that was sassy. So many people say to me, oh, Judy, why don't you have a sitcom? Well, you see, I need to have a scandal. All right? So, I, I, you know, I wanted to become addicted to painkillers. The problem is I'm Catholic and I live for pain. Okay? I still have nightmares about my eighth grade nun sister Godzilla. You know, she got mad at me because I gave her a shaving mug for Father's Day. Get <laughs> him. Uh, oh, shut up, bitch. You work for the show. <laughs> I have a cameraman? Give me, no, honey. Get on your knees and worship. Okay? I don't time for this. Oh, yeah. And, um, oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. And so many people say to me, oh, Judy, oh, how can you make our lives more perfect for us? Okay. Number one, George W. Bush is not allowed to speak on TV until he learns to read. Okay. Yeah. He always says the same thing. Oh, I'm going to get that Bin Laden. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Excuse me, George, you can't even find Dick Cheney. Oh. <laughs> and that's not too tough. Just go into any emergency room and yell, clear. <laughs> Anytime George W. has the de desire to speak, he should let his mom do it. Barbara, we love her. She's like the Quaker Oats man in a moo moo. <laughs> Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of my co-host, this cupcake, Jackie Inks. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. The, yeah, let's hear it. The stacked and statuesque Barbarellas. Oh, they are so sassy. Look at that. Did you know about this? Okay. And my very special co-host is this week, the glamorous, the glorious, love goddess herself, Miss Judy Tanita. I, I love her. She's like butter. And wine connoisseur and magician, Ryan Majestic is here, as well as photographer of the erotic, Christine Kessler. Oh, I love that. We are very excited about having with us the music of the top drawer. All of that and a free pancreas for everyone who stays tuned for the hour. The hour of power as queer as edge errs are go! What are you doing right now? 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 It's your reality. Make it up. Vodka martini. Two olives. This is my reality. What's yours? What's yours? What's yours?
It's Monday. I hope all of you had a super fantastic weekend, and I hope no one got arrested, uh, uh, as many queer edgers do over the weekend. Uh, I am so thrilled, and that's spelled T H R I L L E D, to have you, oh, Judy Tenuta, on my show because I think you are one of the most bitchin'. Hags of the homo. I am not a hag. I'm a goddess. Yes, you are a goddess. I'm sorry. That's right. Goddess of the gay. That's right. Uh, That's true. You are a goddess of the gay, and you're one of the few females yes. that carries her strap on outwardly. Yes, and I'm proud of it. You're proud of your strap on. And many men beg to lick it. But, can I just say, as a size queen myself, ah! that I have noticed that your strap-on has gotten smaller over the years. Right. And you know why? Why? Because I'm a delicate f flower That's begging true. to be pollinated, and I don't want to wait until I get older and I have to walk perpendicular to the ground because what? I was carrying a strap-on the size of Venus. <laughs> okay? That's why I have a little petite one. And you become a little petite thing I yourself. I am. I'm tiny. I'm you are tiny. Yeah. I saw your breast. I can see your breast. Yeah, I have breasts. Uh -huh. <laughs> These are real, okay? Uh -huh. Not well, like, you know. Honey, I don't think anything, anyone's going to question that. Oh, well, but we are in Hollywood, and everybody else has, you know. Uh, everyone else has what? Uh, shall we just say there's a two silicone minimum at LAX? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you in unless you, <laughs> you know. You know, when I got here, I had uh, collagen injected into my nipples. Oh, yeah. Just to uh, give them that extra little perk. Can you, you can feel, feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, they are. They're, They're really like huge, hard. aren't They're they? Hard. But I have to say, you have excellent taste in clothes. Look at his outfit. Come on. Well, thank you. I mean, no, but seriously, you're all, it's like, almost like you're a gay man. Look at how well he, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how well coordinated he is. I'm not a gay man. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, whatever that was. Yeah. I, I, I am, you know, I am married, I have a wife, I have six kids, uh, I have uh, four of them are alcoholic, and uh, they're all under the age of 14. Oh, perfect for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have an amazing show for you tonight, and don't we, don't we? Oh, it is so awesome. I As am... if having Jackie Jett and Judy Tenuta on one stage is not enough to, uh, Choke your monkey. That's right. Flip your pancake. Oh, Light your boat. That's right. Uh, we, I mean, we have perverts coming from all over the world. We can't wait. We uh, cannot wait. And this whole week, Miss Tenuter. Yes. We have perverts coming from all across the world. And I have been pervert deprived, so yes. I can't wait to yes. see them. Yes. And when here was the thing, and this is the great thing about having someone like Judy Tenuter. Oh, no. <laughs> she loves that. It's my cause. My brother calls you that. Oh, that okay. Judy to that, neuter. That's how they say it in Texas. Uh, that Judy to neuter, Jack. I sure like her, but she she got that accordion. She can't hadn't learned to play it very well. So. Well, he's wrong. He's wrong. I'll play it for you right now. I want a guy with a mobile home who has an extra Y chromosome. A guy who can retain water in his head and ride me horsey back like Mr. Ed. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Take that, dear brother. And yeah. tell me this chick can't play. Uh, well, let's see. I think we need to be informed a little, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Until I yeah. feel, can you see the hole in my head? I see that that's where the lobotomy, yeah, yeah right there. Yeah, so what helps me with that is I have a lady, Jackie Inks over there. Jackie Inks is a, she used to have a penis. Uh-huh. now she has a vagina. That's the opposite of me. Yeah. Okay, just perfect. Just completely opposite. <laughs> and what you guys should have done is got together and just exchanged things <laughs> and saved both of yourselves a lot of money. Oh, we didn't know. But that didn't happen. And so we're just going to go to the news now. We're news from the edge with the lady, Jockey Inks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going back to Jack?
Thank you, Mr. Jeff. Ha happy Monday, everyone. A brand new week here on The Edge. Our European News Bureau has reported that Cyril Delacou is a gentleman from Belgium that recently celebrated his 100th birthday. He may be in failing health, admits he can't see as well as he once did, and it's getting harder for him to do the things he likes to do, but I do have some great news for him. He just saved a fortune on his car insurance. <laughs> it's true. Mr. Delacue has been given a discount on his auto insurance because he's been driving, check this out, for 80 years and never had an accident. You go. Delacue still drives himself around every day. He does his own shopping, fishing, and he likes to play a little pool. And he says he plans to keep driving till he's at least 110. We here on The Edge are looking into reports that Lindsay Lohan has put Mr. Delacue on retainer. <laughs> Something for you history buffs. The National Museum of American History has recently acquired a true treasure, the first frozen margarita machine. Mariano Martinez, who is the owner of the legendary Mariano's Hacienda restaurant in downtown Dallas, donated the machine. Now, Mr. Martinez explained to News from the Edge that he was frustrated by customer complaints that his handmade margies were either inconsistent or not cold enough, so he converted a soft-serve ice cream machine into the first automatic frozen margarita contraption. We here on the Edge, of course, are happy that the museum is finally understand what true history and art is, and we feel confident that Tommy Chong's double chamber reverse osmosis four tether hookup pipe can't be too far behind. <laughs> and finally tonight, speaking of drugs and sex and rock and roll, but we like it. The Rolling Stones are on tour promoting their brand new album called A Bigger Bang. And the concert reviews so far have been generally good. The boys will be in the northeast part of our country this week, but the world's greatest rock and roll band, as they have come to be known, ran into some trouble recently at the University of Virginia. Mick and the boys were in the middle of their show when police halted the festivities and searched the stage with three bomb-sniffing dogs. Ouch. Fortunately, nothing was found. And the show was allowed to continue, but we are thankful that the Stones didn't tour to support the Voodoo Lounge album. God knows that thing really was a bomb. I'm Jackie Inks. Sorry, Mick. Let's go back to Mr. J. It's time to climb the We have to talk about my website and get all of this stuff done. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you, oh. Jackie Inks. Yay! Thank you, Jackie Inks. And I mean that. I mean that, Jackie, <laughs> from the B O T T O M. Of my H E A R T. Yay! I just spelled two words. You are a without, champion. Without any, I, I, without any interruptions whatsoever. You know, uh, <laughs> this lady right here, Judy Tenuta, is a marketing genius. I uh, yeah, you know the uh, that Carl Rove has nothing on you in the. Except that he's got a lot more money. Yeah, what? that 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 that. Uh, but he doesn't have a cool website like you do. No, and it's going to get even cooler yeah. in the next few weeks because I have a new webmaster, and it's going to be awesome. Okay. Isn't it interesting that I have found in my life that I'm only going to converse with other people that have websites? Yeah. Because Hello. Yeah. Uh, I think if you don't have a website, you're really not part of the... Well, if you don't have a website, you don't exist, Kate. <laughs> okay. Is this, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying. Yeah. It's pretty, that's pretty to the point. Yeah. And, and I hate to say, but it's, you're true. It's right. <laughs> and this is one of the things you're going to be missing if you don't go to her website. This is your C new CD? Well, it's the, it's the latest one. I'm going to be having a new, new one later in the year, but this one right now is called A Space Goddessy. <laughs> Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I give, of course, love advice on it, and it was, uh, it, it's a live album, so it was performed all over the country, so there's all these good bits from all over Michigan, nice It doesn't place. look live to me, it just looks like a piece of plastic. Oh, you are just oh, oh, am I not the Shecky Green of the new millennium? You are! Okay, we're going to be right back. We literally have, uh, what is it, 16 pounds of queer stuff oh, coming great. up right after this message. Yeah. So come back.
see the new one? The new Pope, and then his bitch. Yes, I can't tell if he's a Nazi, but, you know, every time he, you know, starts to pray, it's Hail Mary. I don't know what I'm supposed to think. But, uh, you know, he's one celebrity that I met, and I do like white gowns, so that's I already good. do. I, thought I you, know. You looked very chic okay, in that, I think. very chic. He's like, oh, and then, of course, my favorite. I was at a second hand. It's a Monday here at Queer Edge. You know, there are your basic rabbit in the hat magicians. Then there are your basic let's go down the rabbit hole magicians. But our next guest is definitely one of the latter. Why not welcome mentalist magician, Mr. Ryan Majestic. Ryan! Majestic! Oh my god! Hey, Ryan Majestic. Oh, nice to see you. Yeah. Mm. It's been so long. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, what's going on here? Judy sits there and goes, What's going on here? Because she needs a hug. Is he a cutie patootie, as, as my is, friend Rosie O'Donnell will say? He is very cute. Yeah. Like, let's do his hair. Oh, yeah. Let me sniff it. it. Oh, it's got a little oh, bit. Oh, it smells good. You are not a Satanist. No, a well, no. You know what? He's got a little bit of that Rob Thomas. Oh. Uh, uh, Matchbox 20 thing. Yeah. yeah maybe. And his hair smells good, so I know he's washed it today. I think he washed my hair. And he's taking a shower, what? and you look good. Like oh, a tie? Yes. Uh, it's Sean John. Yeah. Oh, Sean John. Oh, that means I'm popular. Sean John. Oh, okay. I look fun. Very <laughs> brocade. Yeah. You know, you sh I wish you could have seen an earlier show of ours today. We had French people on. French people. Oh. And we thought that French people knew how to dress. No. Oh, no. They, they, all they know how to do is undress. And that's true. That's all they know how to Which do. Which is pretty good, too. And here's <laughs> yeah. the even trippier thing. Hmm. I was speaking fake French to them, and they understood it. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know what that's about. You, might, you know what? He's a guy who might be able to tell you. Because, because you may have been channeling or something. You, that's true. You might have channeled a, a Frenchie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, um, you, I'm not going to go, I'm going to let it go that you're attractive. I'm going to let, <laughs> let me take this. Here, give me your attractiveness. Put it in my hand. Okay, there we go. Okay. Boom. And I've thrown it away. So now this is going to be a serious interview about, uh, about your career as a mind reader and a spoon bender. I love that. Um, can you really bend a spoon? Oh, yeah, totally. Let's see it. Well, have I don't you, have any spoons with you, but do you want to see... Um, well, can I, let me ask you this. What? Can you bend this? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Just well, try. No, it's, it's, it's oh, too massive. On, I think that's the problem. Look, there you go. Good. That was yeah. It, everyone knows if uh, anyone can get a penis soft, it's Judy Tanu. Oh. 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 I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Listen, here's what I want to know. You somehow combine wine soirees yes. and the connoisseur of wines into m magic wow. either one either you're on acid or I was on acid when I read your body no, no no I do um I do wine t I used to run a wine shop okay and I was the buyer and so I, I knew a lot about kind of cheap wine uh-huh and oh <gasps> uh, yes oh, that's you, right the spoon the petite Barbarella provides the spoon <laughs> uh when my ladies bring me spoons because and it's special he's got to prove it okay. Okay, 
Okay. Before we bend the spoon, can I show you one other thing? Yes. Well, because it's Halloween's coming up. Yes. So I thought maybe you guys, do you want to see a spooky magic trick? Yeah, yes. I, I okay. Okay. That. Um. Oh, here. I have in my pocket. I used to live in New Orleans, and I got this this voodoo doll there. Uh-huh. Uh, can you hold it just right there for me? Uh huh. Perfect. Do you do you believe in voodoo and things like that? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah, I do. I do you do. know how a voodoo works? It's like a it's like a sympathetic magic. So whatever happens, maybe to the voodoo doll would happen to the person that's intended for. Okay. Ooh. It's Great. Scary. Um. Uh, so if I want something bad to happen, or you you could do it to the doll, and that might happen to the person you meant it for. It's a link. But then, yeah, but and but this then, one is. But um, then it could be bad karma for you because then it's going to come back. That's uh, true. This one is for you. Oh, this was for me. Yeah, uh, can you do me, hold your hands up for me? Okay. Uh, and actually, uh, like that. Great. And warm them up a little bit. Stop with your hands closed. Yeah. Uh, uh, close your please? hands. Please. Okay. Yeah. Are you are you right handed or left handed? Right. Okay. Um, which, that's your right, right? Uh -huh. Put it down just in case I mess up. Okay. Um, now lift your hand up a little bit. Okay. And don't let anything in or out of your hand. Okay. And no matter what happens, don't move and you should be fine. Okay. Nice. Hold still. You're not going to hurt Can yet. you feel that? It's like two magnets kind of pushing at each other. Here, wait, hold still. Hold still. Oh my God. Don't move, don't move. Can you feel that? Uh huh. Is your hand warming up at all? Yes. Oh, Did I burn you? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Put your hand up like this and open your fingers. <gasps> Have a look. Oh! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. Now, I just want to say I did not get high before the show today. <laughs> I did not get high before the show today. No, that is phenomenal. freaky. That's did you like freaky. Yeah. Now you're scaring me. Mm. So now I don't give a shit that you're attractive. Okay. <laughs> uh, because you're just scary. Scary. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, what else are you g going to do? Well, do something to Judy because God knows uh, she needs some witchy magic done on her. Uh, Judy? Yes. Uh -huh. Have you ever had your mind read before? <laughs> Try to find it. Oh. <laughs> no. no I'm, I'll leave that to you. But um, I, I brought with me a, a book. Um, I've been reading it. It's not very good, but it'll work for this. Um, okay. I'll just flip through the pages. Okay. Tell me when to stop, okay? All right. And then we'll go from there. Stop! Okay, look at the very first word right there. Uh huh. Do you have it in mind? Yeah. Okay, concentrate on it. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm seeing sm smoke, right? Yeah. Something smoky? Yeah. Transcend it to me. Transcend it? Don't say it, just kind of will it to me. Fireplaces and things like that, right? It's not fireplace. Uh uh. It's a long word. It's eight letters? Maybe, yeah. Well, there's some ends in the middle. Uh huh. Yeah. Chimney? Yep. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Satan! <laughs> you are Satan! Yeah, okay. but see, that wasn't scary. Though. Not no, scary that, like that. That was scary. That was the scary. Yeah. Ryan, what's the difference between a mentalist, a magician, and a psychic? Are they all, are they all synonyms? Or? Well, it depends on who you talk to. I think a mentalist is a performer that isn't really doing anything that... Uh, a magician, I think, maybe would do rabbits and silly things like that. Rabbits. Are you going to bend the spoon? Yeah, if you want me to. Yeah, we need this. Okay. How many times do we get a chance to see a guy bend the spoon? It's true. It's true. Um, how about I'll do it and I'll give you a chance to do it? Have you ever bent metal before in your? Ah, yeah, I want to see that too. Uh, no, no. Except for hold your hand guys. up for me. Okay. Put your other hand on top. Put your hand on top like a sandwich. Uh huh. And just warm it up like that. Don't move the the. F just move your hands. Mhm. Mm Are you feeling? Is it getting warm at all? I'm a little older, so it takes a Sure, while. it takes a little while. <laughs> Take your time. Um, mm -hmm. do, do me a favor. I, I, this is your first time bending metal, so I don't know if it's... But just, just open your hands like a book. Look at that. Look. Oh. Yeah! What's going you, here, on? just rub it with your finger right there. Bravo! Faster, faster. Look. Look at that. Ah! Faster, faster. Ah! Look, 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 look. Look at it. That's good. good oh, job. I got it to go up. Yeah! <laughs> She sounds it is so surprised. Such a damn shame that Johnny Carson isn't around anymore. <laughs> it's so tragic. Judy, you and I could go on there and do these together. These you, tricks like this. Here, watch this. Yeah, he would appreciate Ready? it. Ready? <laughs> here, hold it. Hold your. Let me see your fist. Make a fist around the spoon. Squeeze it tight. Ready? Uh huh. You see that? Well, here, loosen what? your grip just a little bit. Uh huh. <gasps> here, hold still. Uh -huh. Loosen a little bit more. Watch. Loosen more. Uh huh. Loose, loose, loose. Huh? Look. Look at that. 
Right there. It's straight. Oh my god. It's twisted. Yeah, and you twisted it. There's a twist. Like a corkscrew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. My son. Yes. <laughs> You are a Satan worshiper? True. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, you are? Communists? Don't tell. Okay, I won't tell. What powers? How do you do this? Um, mostly it's, oh, I like to think it's like with the mind reading stuff, it's like observation. Um, I, I did train with a psychic when I was a kid. Uh -huh. um, I learned tarot cards and stuff like that. But I think it's just you, you observe people, you see it, you use your intuition, and you can kind of... The spoon bending something else, else altogether. Okay, now you are uh, a mind reader. What is the wine? Tell me. Oh yeah, sure. So um, I do do wine tasting shows where like I'll get um, uh, I'll get some like a small group of people together and we'll taste wines in, be in between the courses while people are drinking their wine. I'll do a wine related magic trick um, or you know different things about wine and. It just gives people a chance to kind of drink. It's kind of organized chaos. You know that's, that that I think I could do that. Yeah. I mean, you get anyone I've drunk seen the enough. Show, yeah. You get anyone drunk enough, and you do. Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Open it up. Look at <laughs> it. And they're like, Oh my God! All the people. It does get easier at the end. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. I can imagine that. Yeah. Is there dark magic? I mean, is this a myth or is this true? Is there dark magic and white magic? I think there are people that do do, like, th there are Satanists and things like that. I don't know how much credence I would give them, but, yeah, I mean, there's people who definitely believe so that. So people that, that can do what you do, maybe they're coming from a different power source. I guess what I'm well, asking is, are different power sources? One of my favorite things, what my hobby as a magician is, I go around, I've been around the world, and uh, I kind of learn different traditional magic. So I really love American spiritualism, like Ouija boards and stuff like that, and the methods behind that. Do you believe in Ouija boards? Not so much anymore. Yeah. When I was a kid, definitely, but... Yeah, because you always like yeah. when you 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 can always like, yeah. If you li lift your hand up, then it goes flying off the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any way that you can put a spell on someone at Q Television in order for me to get more money? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll give you. Uh, there's a you list. Know, go to my website. Uh huh. And then uh, email me, and we'll. It's okay. brightmajestic.com. It's about 15 names. 15 names, sure, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Now, how do people get in touch with you? Because the wine, oh, you, you're also a walking around mentalist. Yeah, I do do, I, the stuff I did here I do at uh, private events and corporate things. And, uh -huh. and, and people hit up on you? Uh, Chicks they, hit up uh, on you? They hit up on me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Chicks dig you, yeah. don't they? Don't tell my girlfriend. Huh? Yeah. Don't, don't tell your tell girlfriend. Yeah. Don't tell Okay, listen, we got to say goodbye, and... and uh, um, I just want Ryder Majestic's girlfriend, if you're watching, he's getting laid every time he leaves the house. <laughs> and I just I feel it's my duty yeah. to tell you that. Um, it's between you and me. No, sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, more quiz <laughs> coming up right after this, so stay to land. Yeah.
swing both ways, if you get what I mean. I'm talking about uh, the dining room, yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, we're going to take a commercial break right now, and we're going to sell some products. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, that was freaky to me. Yeah. Yeah, I see But that. in a good way. But I, in I, a good way. I wasn't scared of him. He, he had a gentle spirit. But he was cute. Now, had he looked a little uh, if he, Yeah, if he looked like, yeah. Yeah, if that was Rob Zombie. It'd yeah. be a whole nother story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I yeah. think his, that kind of, but this That's is weird. That's the one that got me. This is weird. Okay, that was, that was not planned. No, that was not planned. That was not there. Okay, so he's freaking out about it. So I'm freaking out about this. But I, here's what I'm going with. I'm going with this. That now I'm either a little closer to Satan <gasps> or I'm a little closer to, uh, God. The Dalai Lama or God or someone. So this is this is my yeah. connect. This is I'm going to go to clubs now and go. Need I show you more? <laughs> Let me in. The portal. You know, I want to use it to my advantage. Right. And I can. bet I can even get a discount in the peep shops. You that's, better believe it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Now, honey, there is so much going on in your life. Yeah. Uh, oh. You have a, you have songs. You have yes, music. Yes. Yes. Oh wait. I forgot to tell you something. Tell Daddy. So many people write me letters. Oh, wait, here's one. Okay. Oh, here it is. It says, Dear Goddess, I have a super cute boyfriend who only likes to decorate and lip sync to Yentl. Could he, could he be gay? Love Oprah. Oh, I'm coming over here because guess what? I think... Oh, wait, he's telling me to do something. It's God. Go, go that way. Oh, go over here? Why am I going over here? Oh, he changed it. <laughs> am I supposed to do this here? Oh, yeah. So, you know what? I can't tell who's gay because everybody dresses from Abercrombie and Fist. And guess what? I think I have to sing about it. Sing about it. Cropped crew cut, khaki jeans from Gap. You won't see a leather boy sitting on his lap. He doesn't like Madonna, he's an Eminem fan. You won't see him square dance with another man. He's an undercover queen. Shh. <laughs> undercover queen. Local pizza slut. He doesn't like show tunes, inhale donuts like a cop. Doesn't even know if he's a bottom or a top. He's an undercover queen. An undercover queen. He's gay. The James Bond way. Ooh. 007 gay. <laughs> it was just a beautiful song, <laughs> and the lyrics were so... Genuine! They, yeah, they hit me right here. Uh, you know, you're multifaceted and multi-talented. Did thank you know that? Thank you. Just, you, just like me. And not just like you, that's you, true. And I, don't wanna, I want to tell you this. Yes, you are really, really a great guest and a great co-host. Thank you, darling. Which I guess kind of makes you like the same as me. It kind of makes us equal now. Yeah, that could happen. Yeah, that could happen. So that's, is that from this CD or something coming up? Yeah, I think that's on there. Let me see. I'll check real fast. Because I have a few CDs. Oh, it is on there. You need to know your it own It is music. on there. It is on there. Okay. Undercover Queen. Uh, listen. Okay, now we're going to go from... From this kinky chick <laughs> to a chick who takes sexy photos of what we 
queer edgers love most? Oh. Latex. Yes! The tattoos, the spiked heels. Please welcome the brilliant photographer, Christine. Kessler. <laughs> it's German. Kessler. Ke Ke Kessler. Oh. Christine Kessler. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Uh, first of all, uh, somebody just got a haircut. Somebody needs a haircut. Oh, somebody needs a haircut. So long. Getting a little long. Look, check it out. I can pinch it. Yeah. But wait, long. I like the shoes. Let, let that everybody see these. Oh my God, from the Hello. Hello Monster Collection. Those are great. Thanks. Those are no. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Maybe it's none of my business. And uh, if it's not, uh, I'm gonna give you this spoon. Uh, that is this. Mm -hmm. Are you? Do you participate in any lesbianic activities? <laughs> huh? So that's been known to have. Been known to have them. I don't know what it is. I think because the mentalist was here, mm -hmm. I have developed You're psychic abilities. Psychic. I can see it. And uh, it's just something, because then I read your, I see you looking oh so femme and tattooed, and then I see that you take photos of chicks. Mm -hmm. Lots of them, naked. L lots of naked chicks. So see how I put all that together. Uh, and, and mind you, if I may, I only finished junior high. <laughs> and just no. about half of it. You clearly didn't need any more. Didn't need, no, I had learned all I needed to know. And not only that, I was the number one drug dealer at Thomas Jefferson Junior High. Yeah! Yes. Yeah! Okay. Thank you very much. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about, are we? No. Or, unless you want. No. <laughs> no, no we're me. here to talk about, because I checked out your website and I thought, oh no, here we go. Another lesbian kinky photographer, just what the world needs. But yours is different, because yours is good. Oh, thanks. Yours is really super cool. We're going to show, these, the, 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 uh, the pills that we're seeing behind you is just what she takes prior to her <laughs> photography. I don't. Yeah. Oh, you That's don't? That's crazy. No. What is totally that? Totally sober. Honey, you have got oh, to work beyond that. You have really got to work beyond that. But can we show, let's show some of the shots that, that uh, Christine has taken. And there's one right there. Mm -hmm. Woo! Uh, tell me, what is the name of that? Uh, untitled, as they all are. That is a model named Nicola. She's from Florida, and it's a shot of her wearing latex by Fierce Couture, and it's a local LA latex designer. Okay, why is that untitled when it could clearly be entitled My Black Ass? Because I didn't finish junior high. Oh, you didn't finish junior high either. Okay, what is this one untitled? Okay. Uh -huh. And shoes. Uh, yeah, five and a half inch heels. They're crazy. Guys, put those back in your pants right now. I mean, every one of you, every one of you, put it back in your pants. Okay. God. And, uh, cause Sorry to get good help. I know. Guys. It is. And not only that, the reeking of poppers in this room now is Jesus. giving me a headache. Okay, so that one's untitled. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, and one this one, oh, there's a little bondage there here. Is, there is some uh -oh. bondage. And uh -oh. she doesn't look happy about it. Oh, she is. Oh, she is? That's, that's, that's erotic tension. That's part of it. Okay. I'm so right over my head. Lesbian erotica over my head. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be lesbian if that was a guy. It could be the same thing, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, can we go on to the next? Because this is good stuff. Your work shows in a lot of... Ooh. Oh, God's Girls. That's what I was going to ask you about. Right. You've got this God's that's Girls you. things. That is not me. That's, but you're that's Courtney. That's okay. Courtney Bird. Okay. okay. Courtney Bird. Cute name. Uh, why is... What is God's Girls? God's Girls is a new website that I've been shooting for. It's not up yet, but it's on its way. Uh, hopefully, they're planning to launch it by Halloween. And the other ones, the other pictures were from my own websites. My fetishdiary.com and the fet fetish stuff is toeandarch.com. Okay, toe and arch for the people that are in the toe and arch thing. Yeah. Uh, are you into the latex, playtex? Um, I mean, 
Uh, you know, this is gloves? my scene. Oh, blue gloves. <laughs> uh, yeah, he loves those rubber gloves. gloves. Yeah. This is all. He loves them. Yeah. I've been into this. And let me just say this, woman. Uh, you haven't <laughs> been by my house wanting to take a photograph. You haven't. I've noticed. noticed. Uh, and I think it's because the, the, you're suffering from some homophobia. You <laughs> have, I think you <laughs> have the, uh, I think you're big on the lesbo, uh. but when it comes to, look at this. I want you to look at that, and I want you to look at this. Bring it on. <laughs> okay. you got to stick it out. You have to arch your back. Oh, yeah. Oh, Would it yeah, make you feel Daddy. better to know that I oh, shot yeah, for Drum Daddy. Martin Honcho and that hey. I do gay websites? Oh, so you shot in dudes before? I have shot in dudes, yes. Shot in dudes? <laughs> yeah. Junior high, remember. Junior high. Don't, don't, don't same, press me on the grammar. Same type of thing? I mean, more of a fetish thing? or, or uh, More of, well, I do, uh, I do a website called budhole.com. It's a one-guy website. His name is Bud. Called what? Bud, Bud Hole. Bud it's oh, all Bud about, hole. It's See? about Bud's hole. Okay. Which is um, exercised regularly. And, okay. You know, uh, all sorts of ways. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. oh I got so it. I've shot. You know, I am not. I no prejudice here. Okay. Uh, can we see just a couple of more? Ah! Can we see a couple of more? Because I want to. Do we have any more? That's it. No. Okay. I think the way I want to end this segment uh, is uh, if we can because it was. It's, it was rather risque, don't you think? Oh, it's a little, very I love it. Thank I mean, you. I love it. So, would you hold Judy's hand? And I will. Let's all hold hands. We're we gonna pray. And as we go out <laughs> on this commercial break, please, can we sing "Amazing Grace"? Okay. Um, maybe you can. I can't. Oh, okay. Amazing <laughs> grace, as sweet the sound that saved a juice boxes <laughs> oh, but I reserve the top drawer for this band it is the top drawer, the top yeah. drawer.
I said, I said, baby. Yeah. I said, baby, I'm your man. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. We're gonna to toss to a clip. Oh, I, 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 how did I lose my voice? I don't know what happened. That's what happens when I lip sync. Um, <laughs> we'll be right back after this clip. Very special clip. You guys, top drawer. Very cool. Yay. Doors are an essential part of our lives, even more so than most of us realize. Doors enable us to enter our homes, our schools, our churches, and our places of business. Without doors, we would be locked out of many comforts and joys of life. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Many are indifferent to the life beyond, and pay no attention to heaven's door. Some procrastinate, meaning to enter heaven's door sometime, but they cannot be concerned with it now. To all such, God says, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Christ is the only door to heaven. People have the idea that there is a special door to heaven for everyone. But how can we attribute such folly to God when we would not even attribute it to ourselves? None of us would build a home with special doors for each member of the family. We all use the same doors. And of course, we know that the door which is large enough for the biggest one of the family is large enough for the smallest too. So it is with heaven's door. It is large enough to permit the biggest as well as the smallest sinner to enter if he but come seeking admittance in the name of Jesus. Most doors permit us to carry anything through them as we enter.